Get me that signal. We need more power. Welcome to the Voice of E, entertainment for the everyday geek. I am your host, Elliot Miller, and this week in board game news... Now, just so you know, I'm doing a little different this week. I'm going to do three separate shows. One for board game news, one for entertainment news, and one for comic book news. This way, they're a little shorter, so you can take them in bite-sized chunks. Well, that's my plan, anyway. So anyway, this week in board game news, on April 16th, Ares Games is launching a new campaign on Kickstarter for the cooperative tactical sci-fi game, Galaxy Defenders. And the countdown has already started on the game's website. New images and details about the game are being unveiled, and a prototype version was shown at the Ares Games booth at the Gamma Trade Show, getting a lot of attention from retailers and distributors attending the show. In Galaxy Defenders, up to five players fight together against an incoming alien menace. The game is, is inspired to the sci-fi cult movies of the 80s and the 90s and features high-quality miniatures and an innovative AI system to control the alien invaders. Each player takes control of one agent with unique powers trying to defend the planet from an alien invasion. The battle for Earth against the aliens develops in a series of scenarios organized in a story-driven campaign. Scenarios remain balanced independently of the number of players. The game is developed by the Gremlin Project Studio and will be published and distributed by Ares Games. After the first two miniatures revealed on February 22nd, Thorium, the Human Agent Biotech, and the Agent Xeno Alien Xeno Gray, five more miniatures can be seen on the gallery section of the Galaxy Defenders website. Featuring Hulk, the Agent Titanium, and the aliens Xeno Alpha, Xeno Beta, Spine Critter, and Arachnos. The artwork section of the website and the official forum are now open, and the authors Nunzio Surus and Simone Romano are ready to answer the questions about the game. Any questions? The Galaxy Defenders website can be found at www.galaxy-defenders.com. Galaxy Defenders! Kind of make it like uh, Guardians of the Galaxy? Mm -hmm. yes. Now available from Greater Than Games is the latest expansion to Sentinels of the Multiverse, called Shattered Timelines. There's a terrible rift in time. Somehow alternate realities within the multiverse have collided, and the aftermath has split the space-time continuum itself. A time-traveling sheriff, sheriff, Chrono Ranger, joins the ranks of the heroes, as does Omnitron X, a future version of the villainous robot Omnitron, which has experienced a change of artificial heart. I guess it's probably Omnitron 10. Hard to tell, you know, it looks like an X. Sentinels of the Multiverse Shatter Timelines, the third expansion builds on the award-winning cooperative comic book card game Sentinels of the Multiverse. It features two new time-traveling heroes, four villains, and two time-displaced environments. Besides just expanding the number of characters and environments available to players, Shattered Timelines introduces new mechanics and exciting new challenges. Can you repair time before time runs out? Sentinels of the Multiverse Shattered Timelines is available now at a retail price of $19.95. Fantasy Flight Games will soon be releasing the first expansion to Elder Sign, called Unseen Forces. Yes, the cooperative dice game of Lovecraftian horror will soon have its first expansion. The museum harbors artifacts that draw the attention of horrible beings, and the unfathomable wills of these creatures make themselves known in the form of blessings and curses. New Ancient Ones, Monsters, and investigators accompany the introduction of these powers, and the entrance of the museum has been remodeled, adding new locations and options for the beleaguered investigators. Countless mysteries confront the investigators, and they cannot hope to comprehend the wills at work in this conflict. These forces may choose to help 
or hinder humans who dabble in the arcane mysteries of the universe. In unseen forces, blessings may fall on a lucky investigator, or a curse can confound those who are not careful. New dice represent the whims of these powers from beyond. A white die is added to the die pool for players who have been blessed, and investigators suffering from a dreaded curse must roll the black die of death. The white die gives the blessed investigator an extra icon to work with to complete his tasks. The black die forces the player to discard one die from his pool that matches its icon when ruled. Additionally, Unseen Forces introduces four entrance cards to be used in place of the entrance reference sheet. The new entrance options give investigators more ways to spend their turn if they'd rather not attempt an adventure. The four new spaces give players a chance to spend their trophies in new ways. But beware, the Mythos deck contains cards that can shutter these locations for the rest of the game. Sealing the entrance cards is just one of the new surprises that the Mythos deck has in store in Unseen Forces. Master Mythos cards have been introduced as an additional way to increase the challenges that your investigators face. These cards have a red background and feature even more devastating effects that may be leveled against the dodged investigators as they struggle to stop the rise of an ancient one. Through their long and sanity straining struggles, the investigators have managed to gain a modicum of knowledge regarding the inner workings of the mythos. This increased familiarity with the arcane is represented by the new Mythos Insight icon, which gives the players a choice as to which mythos effect their investigators will suffer. Despite this small gain in their knowledge of eldritch beings, the universe still harbors a vast variety of horrors. Four new ancient ones have begun to stir, and each brings a unique and harrowing challenge to the museum. Through these creatures pose Though these creatures pose an incredible threat, the future of mankind is it aft. You know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, eight new investigators have also entered the fray, leading an extra bit of hope to the struggle. Most adventures and other world cards bring fresh terrors to the struggle. Mmm, those terrors are so fresh! New spells, allies, and common and rare items add still more of an edge to the investigators. Perhaps the world will survive after all. Expect to see Unseen Forces released this quarter. That would be March, April, May. Huh? 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 No. April, May, June? Huh? 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 Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. AEG has announced the upcoming release of Agent Hunter. dun dun bah. The shadow games of spies and secret intelligence agencies have been played for decades. Ever-increasing methods of detection lead to even more impressive methods of deception. Finding and eliminating opposing agencies' resources can be a deadly game of cat and mouse, or more aptly put, cat and cat. In Agent Hunter... Two players act as rival agents, attempting to eliminate their opponent's safe houses, represented by face-down cards. However, the closer you get to uncovering your target, the more you risk compromising your own position. Stealth and cunning are your greatest allies, for only agents that remain hidden in the shadows will survive the hunt. Agent Hunter is a two-player game for ages 12 and up, and will cost about 10 bucks to pick up your copy. You can take a look at the rules right now at www.alderock.com And guess what? That's all the board game news that I have for this week. Stay tuned for the entertainment news and the comic book news for the week. You'll see the links straight around here somewhere when they become available. Thanks for watching The Voice of E! Entertainment for the Everyday Geek. I am your host, Elliot Miller. And until next time, keep your mind free. It means that signal. We need more power.